By the end of this video, you'll be able to download, install, and set up our firewall application of choice, which will be UFW. We're then going to move on and set up some basic UFW commands, after which we'll then set UFW to start on startup, and then finally we'll move on to some more advanced UFW commands, such as rate limiting. Without further ado, let's connect to our Pi and get started. Okay, so I'm connected to my Pi via SSH. Uh, make sure to check out the first episode in this series on how to set that up, but you can hand follow along from any terminal uh, on your Pi. So first thing I'm going to do is sudo apt uh, get update, which is going to update the repositories that our Raspberry Pi is looking for packages. Next, we're going to do sudo apt get uh, full dash upgrade, which is going to update uh, any packages we have on our system and remove any ones that uh, are no longer required. And now to install the firewall uh, UFW, we're going to be doing sudo apt get install UFW. Now this is going to install the packages and all its dependencies. Okay, with the firewall installed, we first need to enable SSH through the firewall before we enable the firewall itself. Otherwise, enabling the firewall will kick us off our SSH session. So to do this, we need to do sudo UFW um, allow, and we're going to do port 22, which is the SSH port. And now we're going to do uh, sudo ufw enable, which will actually start the firewall. It's warning us that this might kick us off our SSH session, but because we've already allowed port 22, it shouldn't. As you can see, it says firewall is active and enabled on system startup. So what this means is every time your Pi shuts down and restarts again, the firewall will start back up with it. The next thing we're going to do is allow web ports, so ports 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS. So if you set up a web server, something like um, WordPress or just local Apache server, then you're going to need to allow this to allow other people to access that web server rather than just accessing it locally. So we're going to do sudo ufw allow 80. We're going to do sudo ufw allow 443. Now, if we do our sudo ufw status again, we can see that the only things coming through our firewall now are port 22, port 80, and port 443. If some services stop working, it's probably because you haven't allowed them through your firewall. So look up the documentation for that service and see what ports it needs allowed through your local firewall. We've seen the allow command, but there's also a deny command. So we can do sudo ufw um, deny, and let's say we want to deny a random port, port 9000 then we can do that with this command. And looking at the status again, we can see it's denied port 9000. Denying from anywhere is a bit redundant because uh, the firewall will automatically deny everything that isn't explicitly allowed. So we should delete this 9000 rule as it's not required. The best way to do this is sudo ufw status numbered, which will put a number against every single rule we've got. We can do sudo ufw delete four, which will delete the fourth entry, which is our deny 9000. Yes, and then we want to do sudo ufw status numbered again. And we also want to delete the v6 version as well, so we delete seven. Okay, now looking at the advanced controls, we're going to take a look at rate limiting, dry run commands, and we're also going to take a look at allowing and denying from either certain IP addresses or certain IP address ranges. Okay, rate limiting, what does it do and why would you need it? Rate limiting is just like allowing a certain port or service. However, our firewall will not allow that single IP address to connect from that port more than six times in 30 seconds. This is useful to block things like DDoS attacks or um, someone trying to brute force your password on SSH. So to do this, we can do sudo ufw limit and then 22 instead of allow 22. And as you can see, it says the rule for 22 has been updated, which we can see from sudo ufw status. And as you can see, port 22 has changed from allow to limit which means it won't allow more than six connections from a single IP address within 30 seconds. The next command we can take a look at is dry run, which uh, shows you what configuration changes a rule will actually make before actually enabling that rule. So by running sudo ufw dash dash dry dash run limit 80, we're seeing all the configuration changes that the limit 80 rule would actually make to our firewall. You can see the rules, you can then see the logging, and then you can also see the rate limiting changes as well. The next advanced command we're going to take a look at is allowing UDP or TCP traffic rather than both. 
A good uh, example of this is D the DNS service, which runs on port 53 on UDP and TCP. You might want to only allow traffic from TCP and block all UDP DNS traffic. So to do this, we do sudo ufw allow 53, and then we simply just do forward slash TCP. And this will only allow uh, port 53 if coming through TCP traffic. So as you can see, all of these uh, rules are allowing, limiting, or some of them denying from anywhere. However, you might want to limit this to a single IP address or an IP address range. So you might only want SSH allowed from a single machine and you want to block all traffic from any other machine. So to do this, I'm first going to delete these two SSH rules and then we'll take a look at allowing from a specific IP address. So I'm first gonna find out the IP address of my machine. It's a Windows machine, so I'm doing IP config. And my IP address is 192.168.178. So to allow SSH connections only from my laptop and no other machines anywhere else, I'll run this command, sudo ufw allow from 192.168.1.178 to any port 22. So make sure you uh, put in your IP address here and click enter. And this has added the rule. So now any other connections via SSH will be denied. We can take a look at this with sudo ufw status, and you can see my from has been updated to my IP address. The final thing you might want to do is only allow a range of IP addresses rather than a single one. For example, your web server, you might only want to be accessed locally and from no other IP addresses. So I'm going to delete my uh, port 80 and port 443 rules, and then I'll show you how to add it from a specific IP address range. Okay, so take a look at the status. We don't have any HTTP or HTTPS ports configured, which would be 80 and 443. So now I can run this command, sudo ufw allow from 192.168.1.0 slash 24. So these first three uh, numbers need to be updated to whatever your IP address is. And then zero slash 24 allows anything from 1.0 to 1.255. I'm gonna add this rule for both port 80 and port 443 to allow web traffic from anywhere locally, but no external IP addresses. So in this video, I've only showed you specific uh, commands and rules uh, for the firewall, but I'm sure if you put your requirements or use case in the comments below, either myself or the community can help you in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you learned something from this video or enjoyed watching it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more future content like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.